Hi, this is Jeff Minter with Automotive Research and Design, and I'm here today with a hybrid vehicle tech tip brought to you by P10 Magazine. During this tech tip, we're going to take a look at scan tools and some of the concerns with using them on hybrid vehicles as part of the diagnostic process. When you start looking at a scan tool for a hybrid vehicle, it's much like looking at a scan tool for any other vehicle. You'll have a few different options to look at, and in some cases you'll have many different options. The first option, obviously, is to look at aftermarket scan tools. Those come in a couple of different formats, one being handheld, and the other one that's being coming more popular is a PC-based aftermarket scan tool. Then, of course, there's always the OEM scan tools. We'll take a look at both of these and discuss some of the limitations of each. When we look at scan tools from a hybrid vehicle standpoint, the aftermarket tools have a lot of the same benefits as they do to traditional vehicles. One of those benefits obviously being that they're generally less expensive than purchasing an OEM scan tool. The other big benefit is that these are designed to work on a variety of different vehicles rather than being limited to use on one particular vehicle platform. Of course, when we look at this, there's also going to be some downsides to these aftermarket scan tools as well. And unfortunately, when we start looking at them as a hybrid vehicle diagnostic tool, those downsides become even more prominent. One of those is going to be the inconsistency in the, the data coverage on these vehicles. Another one will be that you can't access all of the modules on some of these hybrid vehicles because these are not OBD2 compliant modules necessarily, or they should say they're not OBD2 required access modules. They're not all going to be accessible by all aftermarket scan tools. When we look at data accuracy, we also run into some concerns on these because in some cases we'll see erroneous data values put in place rather than a, a real live data value that can be used as part of a diagnostic process. And then we even run into some concerns with some of the trouble code definitions. In some cases, the definitions aren't available at all because these are not OBD2 standardized codes. And in other cases, the codes may not have a, a full definition available through that tool. When we take a look at the OEM diagnostic scan tools, there's obviously going to be some upsides when it comes to the capabilities of these tools on the varying vehicles. The first one obviously being that you're going to have the same exact access as what an OEM dealership technician would have. That means you know you'll be able to access all of the modules on that particular vehicle platform and all of the data coming out will be as accurate as what those technicians see. You're also guaranteed that those scan tool data PIDs will then be able to be referenced as part of a diagnostic process if you're following OEM service procedures from a, a diagnostic trouble tree standpoint. Because it is the same data, we know that they're going to process it accurately, which means the data values being displayed shouldn't be something that we have to question the accuracy of, other than obviously if we have some sort of a, a sensor lead input problem or something along that lines. But we don't have to worry about the scan tool actually being the problem from how this is being processed. Now the downside to a diagnostic scan tool from the manufacturer really comes down to the cost. The cost is definitely in many cases very high for some of the OEM diagnostic tools. Fortunately, some of the diagnostic tools are coming down in cost from the manufacturers. In particular, if you look at some of the manufacturers like Toyota and General Motors, they've made short-term subscriptions available using the J2534 interface where you can purchase a two to three day subscription to the diagnostic software which will then allow you to use your generic interface to actually access the vehicle using the same OEM level scan tool. Although you don't have to buy it for the long-term investment, you can only buy it as it's needed. The other downside to an OEM scan tool, obviously, is that it's only designed for one platform. So if you do make a rather large upfront investment, it has to be something that you're going to use often enough to pay for itself. In other words, you have to be working on a lot of that particular car line of vehicles in your shop in order to offset the, the high cost of some of these aftermarket or some of these OEM scan tools. So what does it all boil down to for a scan tool to be utilized on a hybrid vehicle as part of your diagnostic process? Well, right now we're currently still recommending the use of OEM scan tools as part of your diagnostic process rather than the aftermarket scan tools. The bottom line is without knowing what vehicle you're working on, what modules your particular scan tool can access, and even what revision level of software is currently able to access various modules and produce accurate data. We can't recommend an aftermarket scan tool across the board because they just simply don't all work on all vehicles. We know if you use the OEM scan tool, you will have a very good data stream coming out, or at least as good as what the manufacturer has provided on the data bus. 
So the OEM scan tool is still a preferred method. Now that being said, the aftermarket scan tools are making progress. So these aftermarket scan tools definitely have some capabilities that are, are improving over the, the broad span of all the different models available. But until we know for sure that they will work on a variety of vehicles, or at least the majority of the hybrid vehicles out there and produce accurate data, it's simply still safest to recommend the use of the OEM scan tools to ensure that you don't end up getting data that causes you to chase a problem that doesn't necessarily exist on that particular vehicle. This was obviously just a very brief overview and look at some of the differences between the OEM scan tools and the aftermarket scan tools as they relate to hybrid vehicles. And obviously this is not a lot different from what we've seen on traditional vehicles over the years on various modules like body control modules, transmission control modules, those kind of things. For more detailed information specifically related to choosing an aftermarket scan tool or what the differences are between the aftermarket scan tool and OEM scan tool capabilities, please join us for one of the future segments on the P10 training related to this hybrid vehicle diagnostic scan tool capability comparison. Thank you for watching this hybrid vehicle tech tip brought to you by P10 Magazine. Hopefully you'll tune in for another tech tip or training session in the near future.